in my earlier video where I built a foundry, I'd mentioned that I wanted to try boron nitride. Here it is, boron nitride. I tried it. I like it. It's expensive, but it does protect your crucible. It doesn't protect it in every situation, though. I made two castings with the boron nitride, and they both came out perfect. Then I decided to make an alloy, and so I had to mix several metals into aluminum and then melt that aluminum. It was, I shouldn't have done it. The result of that was this. I destroyed, that's the bottom of the crucible right there. Completely destroyed. And here's the potential new bottom. And here's the result of that, by the way. This, this is what I picked up off the ground, laying all around in a pool around my foundry. So, boron nitride didn't help in that situation. But I don't do this too much. That's the first time I ever did this. Um, so, my recommendation to you would be, if you're just casting with the steel crucible and you're not trying to mix any exotic alloys, I think it's, it's really good to use it. I think you'll like it. Temperature-wise, casting is a really big deal. If you know the temperature, you can make a really good casting. You know, this thing, you know, a, a thermometer, that's all it is. It's just a thermometer that I can dip into molten metal. It's cheap, and it's so damn cheap, in fact, that this piece, which looks melted, because it did melt yesterday, is such a piece of junk <laughs> that that it melts when it gets, you know, when it's, when it's measuring the temperature it's meant to measure, this will actually melt. That seems funny to me. So anyway, I saved it by, by shoving the whole thing into a snow bank. So, there we go. $13. That's with shipping from China. It took six weeks to get here, but it's worth, it's worth every penny of $13.